Welcome! You're about to watch a video introducing you to Blind Botcher. It introduces you to Mark Beebe of Leicestershire, UK, who invented the Botcher touch grid. You will see how blind players benefit from using it. Here you see Mark helping to orientate Abby, who herself is blind, by walking her round the court. The grid referencing system enables the blind or visually impaired player to familiarise themselves in relation to the botcher court and balls. And it's helpful to pay particular attention to the shape and size of the court and the seated position. Abby's chair is square onto the court, as she must be, with the balls placed at the foot of an easily found chair leg. Abby is now handed a grid. She feels around the outside edge in order to relate the size of the grid to the court itself. The squares on the grid relate to one meter on the court. Mark claps from behind the ball, further to assist Abby about the location of the jack. The jack ball is represented by a white peg. All the pegs on the grid are tactile, making it easy for her to recognise whether the balls are red or blue. Larger pegs represent the player's seated position. An assistant has placed the peg in the grid in relation to where the ball has landed on the court. On every player's turn, they have an opportunity to read the grid, as well as walking out to remind themselves the position of the balls in play. The grid allows visually impaired players to compete with sighted players like this volunteer. Or, to play a game of blind botcher in which all the players are non-sighted. To ensure all the competitors are on an equal footing, they all wear a blindfold. Both visually impaired and sighted players can participate. what a great shot looks like in the fun game of Botcher. The grid may also be used to play skills games, in which hoops can be represented on the grid. And skittles as well. The Touch Botcher Grid was invented in 2006 by multi-sports coach Mark Beebe in collaboration with Loughborough University Design School. Mark says, I'm proud we've been able to create a fun version of Botcher for blind people. I hope and believe you'll enjoy it. Mm -hmm.